magic school bus blasts into space. Miss Frizzle is not like other teachers. She is the strangest teacher in school. We never know what will happen on her bus. After all, it's the magic school bus. today, the frisk says. Who knows something about planets in space? A planet is large and round. Planets go around a star. My new game will tell us it is all about space. Space is big. Earth is small by Keisha. Earth is a small planet. It is one of eight planets that go around our sun. Our sun is a star. Space holds billions and billions of stars. Let's play my space game, said Carlos. Great idea, Carlos, the frizz says. To the bus, kids. Liz beats us out the door. She loves trips. I have a funny feeling about this. Can't we just play the game here? Miss Frizzle turns the key. And the bus lifts off. A screen appears at the front of the bus. It's my game, Carlos yells. Class, we're going to get a good look at space. What's so good about it? If we answer five riddles, we win, Carlos tells us. But the game has a time limit. The clock is counting down. For every correct answer, a button turns green. We have a question. Yeah, will we ever take a normal class trip? Riddle number one. I am the only star in your solar system. There is only one star in our solar system, the sun. DA says, a button on the screen turns green. Our sun is a star. Why does it look so much bigger than the other stars? Because it is close to Earth, other stars are very far away. I hope we don't visit one of those. DA got it right, Carlos tells us. If we win, all the buttons will be green. All at once, the bus speeds up. Star light, star bright, by Wanda. Stars are balls of gas. They make their own light. The sun is very hot and very bright. There are billions and billions of stars. Many stars have planets. Our sun has eight planets. We whiz away from the sun. We pass two planets. The next riddle shows up on the screen. Riddle number two. I have ice on the top and bottom and am red in the middle. Venus second planet from the sun. Mercury, first planet from the sun. We look out the window at Mercury and Venus. We try to answer the riddle. Those planets are too hot to have big ice caps on the top and bottom. That's because they are so close to the sun. Too close. The next planet is blue and green. It's Earth, Wanda says. And there is the moon going around it, says Phoebe. Is Earth the answer to our riddle? Earth has ice on the top and bottom, but it's not red in the middle. Many moons by Arnold. A moon goes around a planet. Earth has one moon. Some planets have more than 60 moons. There are over 150 moons in the solar system. Let's keep going. Going class, Miss Frizzle says. You will find Mars very interesting. We watch Earth get smaller. Look, Mars has ice on the top and bottom. And the middle is rusty red. And our button is green. Our spaceship lands on Mars. Mars is smaller than Earth, but it has a very big volcano. 
Mars has a lot of rusty iron in its soil. It makes Mars look rusty red. Even this volcano is red. Maybe we should get going. Red but not red hot by Tim. Mars is dry and cold. The water we see is frozen. There are lots of volcanoes, but they are cold too. Scientists have not yet found life on Mars. They are still looking. We hop back on the bus. We fly deeper into space. Watch out, Keisha calls. We almost hit that big rock. Those are space rocks. They are called asteroids. I call them scary. We pass the giant asteroids. Space is dark and cold. We can see stars far away. We get a new riddle. Riddle number three. I go around and have a tail. A tail? Is it a space dog? Maybe it's a space lizard. Get serious. We're running out of time. We wonder what in space has a tail. Just then, something flashed by. Class, that is a comet. The frisk says, it goes around the sun. It goes around. And look, it has a tail. It's not a dog or a lizard. It's a comet. Three riddles down, two to go. Yes, a comet. A comet's tail by Carlos. Comets are made of ice and dust. That's why they are sometimes called dirty snowballs. A comet's tail is made of bits of gas and dust that have melted off the icy ball. Carlos looks at the clock. We have to hurry, he says. Step on it, please, Miss Frizzle. We come to a giant planet. It looks like it has a big red eye. That's Jupiter's great red spot, Tim tells us. Jupiter, fifth planet from the sun. The spot is a huge storm, twice as big as Earth. The storm has lasted for over 300 years. I'd hate to be caught in that storm. Beep, beep, beep. Oh no, Carlos yells. That's the warning bell. Our time is almost up. Saturn, sixth planet from the sun. Beep, beep, beep. Riddle number four. I am a ring, but I don't go on your finger. I am a belt, but I don't hold up your pants. What are we? Uranus, seventh planet from the sun. Neptune, eighth planet from the sun. I see a ring that doesn't go around a finger. The rings of these planets are made up of pieces of dust, rock, and ice. What kind of belt doesn't hold up pants? I don't know, but we have to find out fast. Now we have passed all of the big planets. We land on Pluto. It is cold and dark. Liz has a map. Pluto is in the Kuiper belt. Kuiper rhymes with wiper. It is full of big rocks and small planets. The Kuiper belt doesn't go around pants. It goes around the sun. And so do all of the objects in it. Beep, 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 beep. We only have one riddle to go. We only have one minute to go. Riddle number five. I'm not too close. I'm not too far. I'm just the right distance from your star. Wait, we know this one. We yell the answer at the same time. Earth! Just right for life by DA. Earth is the right distance from the sun. It is not too hot or not too cold for life. Back in our classroom, we made a model of our solar system. We were happy to be on our home planet again, for now. What will we discover next? I sense another field trip coming. Space 
is a gigantic place. The magic school bus is really magic. Even the fastest rocket could not travel from the sun to the Kuiper Belt in a day. It would take nine and a half years to make this trip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and check out my Patreon page. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you all next time. Stay safe.